Hi, this is Mark at M2M Technology and I'm here again to talk to you about getting data out of Sage 200 into Excel. Today we're particularly going to be looking at financial reporting. And the first thing we need to do is go and create some layouts. So down in Excel reporting, go to Financial Data Designer and click Add Layout. Call it whatever you want and then edit it. Add some groups if that's your thing and then rename those groups. But once you've got the structure set up, you can add reporting categories to it as and where you see fit. Now that you've done that, close out of there and let's go back to the Excel reports list and highlight the asset and liability report. With that one highlighted, we'll update it, wait a moment, then refresh the list and then view it. When this spreadsheet opens, you'll get a warning about the signing of the values. Essentially, liabilities show as negative rather than positive and you can change that if you want to in Excel. But other than that, you get a nice pretty dashboard with all your groupings and totals. Now, if you look at this, and it may just be my demo data, the totals are a bit strange. So if you've got any questions or problems with those, have a look down at the bottom at the extra tab that shows the raw data this dashboard's built on. You can use this to build your own. Turn it into a pivot table and play to your heart's content. There's also a revenue and cost reporting option. It uses a different layout, but it's all set up in the same way. So have a play, have an experiment and have fun. Of course, if you have any questions or problems, give us a bell 01245 494847 or email us servicedesk at m2mit.uk. Alternatively, visit our websites support.m2m.host or m2mit.uk. Thanks very much for your time. Oh, and one final thing, just in case people were wondering about how hurt my dog would be if he fell off, the answer is not at all. Get down. Come on. He's fine. Thanks very much for your time. Cheers.